Alright, this is CX Dude 754 and we're back with Relentless Evil. This time it is level 22, Greetings from Hell. Yeah, as I said in the last video, the title of this level is, I would say, a little bit of a clickbait, I guess, if that would apply to Doom. But yeah, this is more of a, you know, these kind of kind of like more of a um, brick stuff rather than being an actual hell level although this uh, the one of the original levels uh, of relentless evil uh, it used to be a hell level occupying this slot and that name has kind of like you know you know stayed from those days but yeah, this map was created in 2007. And yeah, 2007 was a great mapping year. For me at least. Uh, I don't know, is it just me or for some reason this game likes doing this stupid lag thing? And I don't understand why it does that. It usually doesn't do that. It, it should be just smooth all the time. But I, I don't know. Hmm. Go figure. But yeah, this is like one of those copy-paste maps where... <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh, just look at the map. And you can easily figure that this is like one of those copy-paste maps that, you know, you just... Um, draw the core of the level and then you just, you know, copy paste the other side of the level and stuff. Right, and this is where it all changes. Um, we want to press this switch first so we can lower these bars. Then press this switch because uh, we'll be getting demons. Yeah, you do that, Mr. Spectre can just do that of yeah and now all these places are kind of connected I thought I saw a shotgun guy there well let him be unfortunately the uh, mr. Spectre didn't prevail right let's go down here God, this was uh, a little bit too close. And yeah, I was inspired by uh, Hell Revealed to level 27 in, ter in ter terms of uh, the theme. <clears throat> not necessarily, you know, uh, not necessarily too much about uh, the, um, you know, that gameplay mechanics of that level. Oh yeah, there was a shotgun guy. And yeah, this is like one of those switches that you have to press. And <clears throat> these switches, they will open up different wings of the level. Some of them secret, some of them uh, less secret. <sighs> and I thought there was a revenant somewhere, possibly. Because I think there might... Oh yeah, there he is. <coughs> right. And then we have to proceed to one of these... Um, one of these... Yeah, here it is. Shut up there, Mr. Shotgunner. Let's get that one, and then we'll get a rocket launcher. Yeah, and this is uh, where this level gets more difficult. Again. Oh wait, I'm gonna do one thing. I'm just gonna check that one area. Oh, uh, it's not that one. Let's see if it is this one. It should be this one, yeah. <coughs> Right, yeah, 
and you have to do a strafe jump and then let's go here that will open up and the same thing on this side and yeah that opens up a secret <coughs> Jesus Christ it's really bad like when you when you get cold and uh, when when I'm recovering I usually um, start coughing like crazy uh, when when the cold is almost over and now we're at that point so I hope that I won't be coughing too much yeah I just don't get it why why this game is being so jerky I I don't understand it doom is usually usually it runs really smoothly but this time it is like you know it's not running right right let's go get that key Yeah, I used to be, you know, a fan of this level and but stuff, but I guess these days this this is really the kind of level that I, I, I don't like these days. Because this is like one of those um, copy paste levels where you just, you know, create a half of the level and then oh Wow, I wasn't quite sure if I would, if I could have just, you know, dodged all of those rockets, but I'm glad I did. Yeah, Mr. Fireball, go, go away, so I can proceed like normal. Alright, and now this, <coughs> Jesus Christ. <coughs> yeah, now it gets really tough. Well, of course, you know, the easiest rocket that you could possibly, you know, dodge, you had to get hit by it. Hit by it. So, yeah, that's nice. And, yeah, as soon as you grab the key, those teleporter pads... What the... How did you get here? Uh, that's a question, uh, Alan Blum, uh, the designer of uh, Episode 1, Level 4, asked in Duke Nukem 3D, and I might ask you the same question, Pain Elemental. Usually he is like, you know, way back there, and he usually does, doesn't come here. And that's like actually the first time I, I think I've ever seen that he, he's come here. He has come here. So... <coughs> <coughs> Freaking cold. Can we just, you know, get this done? And yeah, this is like one of those hub things that you want to return to this to activate different portions of the level, which is kind of nice. And stuff. So now we must proceed to this side. And yeah, copy-paste is your friend. Ctrl-C plus Ctrl-V. Yeah, this is just a copy-paste all over. The only thing that, you know, this, this level is... Like, you know, that central part is like, it's all mirrored. This is like a mirror map. And trust me, I hate mirror maps. I really do. And that's like one of the reasons why I, I'll never do levels like this again. Well, I guess that, you know, if those levels are kind of short, I think that's okay. But, you know, holy cow. Um, I'm... A little bit nervous. Thanks. Yeah. It really bugs me why this FPS is like. It should be 35 all the way, but, you know, I guess maybe it's my infamous recording software that is doing that, which wouldn't be the first time. Or maybe there's a problem with my hard drive or something. Huh? Nobody there. But yeah, 
not, this time not all the monsters <clears throat> will respawn there. Some of them will actually respawn inside that uh, canyon or whatever. And yeah, there are some more dangerous foes this time. Come on. How did he do that? And I guess I probably used to like these no armor levels back in the day. Don't really understand the logic behind it. Oh god. Uh get my Ah uh, Jeez. Well, fortunately there's plenty of health, which is great. Whoa. No chain gunners. Chain gunners are forbidden. Here. Down down here at least. What's wrong with that cacodemon? Yeah, these lifts can be quite dangerous if there are cacodemons around because, you know, they, these are very vertical areas. So it's like, and uh, particularly when you play a source board like I'm doing, I'm playing through, through PR Boom Plus. And which is, I think, one of the best sword sports, at least for me, that is, because I'm a Doom purist, kind of. I, I like, you know, the way that, you know, uh, the original game plays out and stuff. So, yeah, PR Boom Blast is a very... I would say a Doom purist friendly source port. Yeah, let's open up the exit, and I think there's a one bad guy somewhere. Two of them. You know, let me think. Uh, I'm quite sure that I, I didn't really miss anything, so he's probably like, you know, some lone zombie or something in that canyon. <coughs> or whatever, you know, what. I thought I heard an imp. Hmm, that's weird. So small level and you can still miss like a monster. Oh wait, this is wrong lift. I don't know, maybe he's up there. I, I'm gonna do one last check. Oh, there he is. I, I knew it. Hmm. And now we must actually proceed to, the, to this direction where the imp was. <coughs> Damn. Are you serious? Yeah, that's the only thing um, kind of like design-wise that I would have probably done differently is that you cannot really tell which is which unless you have the auto map. Wow, three rockets didn't do the job. And yet, to get to get to the exit, you need to do strafe run. <sighs> yeah, that was level 22, Greetings from Hell. <coughs> Not too much of a level, I guess. I say that, you know, this is like one of those levels that I don't know. Uh, I used to like this level back in the day. But these days, now that it's it's one of, again, just like level 18, it hasn't aged well, I think. And it's it's one of those levels that when you run out of ideas, you, you do levels like this. It's like, it's a lazy copy-paste level, you know. Of course it looks great. It looks nice and, you know, even it uses <clears throat> mostly like... Uh, same textures and stuff but some of the textures are I mean there the transitions are good texture transitions they are good in this one but you know <clears throat> gameplay wise this level is also very difficult because it's like you have to get down there uh, down in that canyon that's where you know things get really hard on ultra violence because they're all like revenants and you know cacodemons uh, and there's no armor. 
At least this is not a, a too long level, but still. I think that it's 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 like um, one of those levels that it's yeah. I I don't see how this level is going to be on PlayStation. Uh, it might be there, who knows? But I don't remember reserving a slot for this one. And as for level twenty one, I am not quite sure that if this level will be on PlayStation because you know or at least I'm going to you know revamp this level if it's gonna be on PlayStation I think you know or PSX Doom TC let's make that clear at this point and yeah I'm just like going to, most likely, I'm going to do dramatic changes. I'm going to cut the second key from this level, which means that uh, we must use the um, containment area logic. Cut half of the level away. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you do it. But yeah, with that, I think we're down with level 22. And then we're going to move on to level 23, which is Ground Zero, the largest Doom level I've ever made. Yeah, but with that, I think we're all done here. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you around.